Soundstar. 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 Yo, what up, what up, guys? It's your boy Lano Beats. Welcome back to another fire tutorial. And today we are doing something different. I'll be showing you how to mix the drums for clarity to get how to get clear drums. Yes, yeah, so before you begin, if you're new to my channel, please, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. So first, I'm going to play the beat so we can have an idea of how the beat sounds. It's a beat I made yesterday. It's already on YouTube. It's called Right Now. It's an Afro pop, Afro beat instrumental. Yes, yeah, so feel free to purchase the beat. Yes, yeah, so without wasting much of your time, let's play the beat. Then we can... Uh, move on from there yeah so these are the beat sounds sound store sound store sound store So that is the beat and it's fire fire already. Yeah, so I'm going to jump in straight into my drums. Today we are not going to be looking at the instruments. Yeah, so these are my drums sound. Yeah. Yeah, so get into my mixer. So I'm going to start with the kick. Let me mute this. So let me turn off the effects. So without the effects, these are the kick sounds. Okay, you can feel it's very low and it's not punchy. So I needed my kick to be punchy. So what I added was a EQ2. Then I took off some highs, boosted the, some bass. Uh, then I added a fab filter Pro Q3. Then I went for a preset, it's called a kick, punch and click. Yeah, then for the in the equalizer here down, I took out some highs as well. So these are now the kick sounds. Yeah, you can now feel the kick is punchy. Yeah, so for my snare, uh, my snare without the, any mixing. Yeah, so I felt like the snare is very dry and it's not lively in the beat. So what I did first was cut off some lows, boost some mids, then took off some highs. Then I added a footy convola, this is a reverb. Yeah, then in the equalizer I took off some lows and now this is how it sounds. Sorry, this is how it sounds now. Yeah. So you can feel the difference. Then for the clap, I just did the same thing. Took off some lows, boosted some high mids, took off some highs, added the reverb. Just play with the wetness. It's not it's nothing difficult. I took off some lows and equalize as well. So without the effects, this is how it sounded. Yeah, you can feel it's very dry. So with the with the effects. Yeah, you can feel the liveliness now in the club. So for my percussion, this is how it sounded without anything. Very, very dry. So you just add an EQ, take off some lows, boost some mids, cut off some highs. Yeah, then reverb, you just play with the wetness. Then I took off some highs in the equalizer. Now this is how it sounds. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't normally do much for my drums, just simple mixing. For my rim, just the same thing. Yeah, very, very dry, so we just take off some frequencies which you don't like. Boost, I boosted some mids. Yeah, then I added uh, the reverb, put it on Vola. Yeah, and this is how it sounds. Yeah, so what I did for my rim and my snare, I pointed the snare to the left and my rim to the right. I needed to get that stereo effect. I needed my drums to fill in my speakers. Yeah, so this is how it sounds. Yeah, you can feel that stereo effect. Then for my percussion here, this is how it sounded without anything. Yeah, I just did the same thing. EQ took off some frequencies. Boosted some, then a reverb, put it on Vola. This is how it sounds now. Yeah, then for the bongo, just the same, same thing. Yeah, so you just add the EQ, then uh, the reverb, this is how it sounds. For the hearts, just the same thing. Took off all the lows, and then I added the reverb. Then I did the same thing for my open heart. Took off all the lows, added the reverb. Then again, I took off some lows. So this is how it sounds. Yeah, so my drums. Let me first play them without any effect. Yeah. So without any effect, this is how they sound. Yeah, you can feel they are very, very dry and not present in the beat. So let's play with the, them with the effects now. Yeah, so this is how they sound. Yeah, you can feel now we are getting something out of the mix. Yeah. So lastly, what I did for my drums, um, I I added, a, created a group or a bass for my drums. I just selected all, all of my drums, then I rooted root to this track only. So what I added in this... Um, bass was a camel crusher then there's a preset i normally use the british clean so these presets allows you to how to get very very clear drums so let's listen now to the drums with the camel crusher yeah i don't even have to tell you guys you can now hear and feel the difference yeah so that's how you get your clear drums Let's listen to this again. Yeah, you can feel every drum, every percussion, you can feel the hearts. So without the camel crusher, this is how they sound. Yeah, you can feel they are very low with the camel crusher. Yeah, and that's simply what I do for my drums. I don't do a lot mixing remember you don't have to do a lot of mixing you so that you don't complicate yourself and find out that you are having a very bad mix at the end of the day yeah so if you have enjoyed this tutorial guys please make sure you like comment subscribe and share thank you for keeping it Lano beats till you meet next time boom